Leviticus 5, Holy Christian Standard Bible. When someone sins in any of these ways, if he has seen, heard, or known about something that he has witnessed and did not respond to a public call to testify, he is responsible for his sin. Or if someone touches anything unclean, a carcass of an unclean wild animal or unclean livestock or an unclean swarming creature without being aware of it, he is unclean and guilty. Or if he touches human uncleanness, any uncleanness by which one can become defiled without being aware of it, but later recognize it, he's, he's guilty. Or if someone swears rashly to do what is good or evil concerning anything, a person may speak rashly in an oath without being aware of it, but later recognizes it, he incurs guilt in such an instance. If someone incurs guilt on one of these cases, he is to confess he has committed th that sin. He must bring his restitution for his sin that he has committed to the Lord. A female lamb or goat from the flock as a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement on his behalf for his sin. But if he cannot afford an animal from the flock, then he might bring to the, to the Lord two turtle doves or two young pigeons or as a restitution for his sin. One as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering. He is to bring them to the priest, who will first present the one for the sin offering. He must twist its head at the back of the neck without severing it. Then he will sprinkle some of the blood on the sin, of the sin offering on the side of the altar, while the rest of the blood is to be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. He must prepare the second bird as a burnt offering according to the regulation. In this way, the priest will make atonement on his behalf for the sin he has committed, and he will be forgiven. But if he cannot afford two turtle doves or two young pigeons, he may bring two quarts of fine flour for an offering for his sin. He must not put olive oil or frankincense on it, for it is a sin offering. He is to bring it to the priest, who will take a handful of it from handful from it as its memorial portion and burn it on the altar, along with the fine offerings to the Lord. It is a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement on his behalf concerning the sin he has committed in any of these cases, and he will be forgiven. The rest will belong to the priest, like the grain offering. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, if someone offends by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, he must bring his restitution offering to the Lord, an unblemished ram from the flock, based on your assessment of its value in silver shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel, as a restitution offering. He must make restitution for his sin regarding any holy thing, adding a fifth of its value to it and give it to the priest. Then the priest will make atonement on his behalf with the ram of the restitution offering, and he will be forgiven. If someone sins and without knowing it violates any of the Lord's commands of concerning anything prohibited, he bears the consequences of his guilt. He must bring an unblemished ram from the flock according to your assessment of its value and as a restitution offering from the priest. Then the priest will make atonement for, on its behalf for the error he has committed unintentionally, and he will be forgiven. It is a restitution offering. He is indeed guilty before the Lord.